Bilbao is home to the famous Athletic Club, a side at the heart of a proud footballing city. But for one weekend only, the San Mamés Stadium was overtaken by rugby. Supporters of Leinster, Racing, Cardiff and Gloucester descended on the Basque city in search of European glory. It's an unbelievable stadium, it's an unbelievable venue to play a game uh, of this kind of magnitude. On Friday night, Cardiff took on Gloucester for the right to lift the Challenge Cup. At the moment, I'm feeling pretty nervous, but I think, honestly, Gloucester will do this tonight. Gloucester! Oh, the local take-up of tickets wasn't impressive, but they missed a cracker. The Cherry and Whites raced into a 26 half-time lead, with tries from Henry Trinder and Mark Atkinson. But Cardiff roared back into the match with a brilliant individual score from Thomas Williams. And a Blaine Scully try gave Gareth Anscombe the chance to level the match, which he missed. But a controversial penalty gave the fullback a second bite, one that this time he nailed to give the Blues their second Challenge Cup title. You know, I just tried to clear my head and, and stick to my routine, I suppose, and sort of let the crowd tell me if it went over. And, and you know, I was just uh, really lucky and uh, thankful, I suppose, when I picked up the tee, you know, it went where it was supposed to go. First off, great start to the, to the game, and then... Uh, Second of that, 20 minutes after half time, I probably where the game turned around and they got momentum and, and confidence. Um, I, I think that's how our season went, um, to be honest. On Saturday, many eyes were on Dan Carter. The Kiwi legend was playing his last European game for Racing, while Leinster were aiming to equal the Toulouse record of four European titles. Obviously, when you got a player like Carter in your squad, it, it's it's a real strength, and they can they can bring him on when they see fit. I think Leinster is just going to sneak it. I think so. 52% of tickets of an almost sold-out Champions Cup final had gone to the locals, but there was disappointment all round when just an hour before kick-off, Carter was ruled out with a hamstring strain. It's just been announced he's injured. He is no, he's not. Yeah. Uh, just been announced. There you go. No. Yeah. <laughs> kidding? No. You're kidding? No. Sunny Spain no more. Wind and driving rain turned the match into a brutal chess match that saw Patrick Lambie limp off in the first three minutes. Johnny Sexton and Teddy Iberin exchanged penalties as neither side was able to create try-scoring chances. When Johnny Sexton tweaked his groin, Issa Nathiwa stepped up to the kicking duties. And just when the game looked like it would head to extra time, the 35-year-old slotted the decisive penalty. Nathiwa's European farewell ending much better than Carter's. Finals heartbreak for a second time in three years for Racing. But Irish rugby continues to dominate in Europe. Leinster adding the Champions Cup to Ireland's Six Nations title. It hasn't really set, um, sunk in yet, to be honest. Um, you know, if you told me at the start of the year, uh, you do, you know, go and beat and, and win the, the Grand Slam and win Europe, um, I'd have bit your hand off. Two contrasting games in Bilbao. Will Spanish fans be wanting more? It was full. It was incredibly noisy. It was a riot of colour. Uh, and I thought the Spanish fans, and I was sitting in amongst them today, were right up for it. And they were really, really into the game, I thought. And it, it had kind of had a football-style feel. The finals will be in Newcastle next year, but with 18 bids to host the 2020 decider, European rugby may again look to new territories.